Hey guys, it's Ani with Chica's Kitchen, and tonight I think I'm going to make some dark chocolate fudge cookies, but it's box cookies. It's made from a box mix of dark chocolate fudge cake, okay? So I'm going to show you how I roll with these box cake cookies <laughs> but that's a tongue twister seriously especially uh past midnight <laughs> all right so i've got my bowl and i've got my cool whip you're gonna need a tub of cool whip one egg okay pretty much that's it your cake mix i'm gonna add since it's dark chocolate fudge i'm gonna add a tablespoon of coffee grounds Okay, and then I'm going to make some cookies with some white chocolate chips, some with sprinkles, and some with Marcona almonds. And I've already chopped these up. So, and then I might make a couple with all of the ingredients. Um, then sprinkle with some confectioner's sugar, powdered sugar. Uh, I may make one with just granulated white sugar. Just, you know, I like that little crunchy, crunchy, sweet uh, taste. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And let me set you up and I'll bring you along and we'll make these cookies together. How about that? And all you really need for this is a silicone spatula that's it you know if you don't need any stand mixer or, or hand mixer or anything just the bowl and your spatula and of course the ingredients all right so let me set you up and we'll get started okay that was quick wasn't it i usually like to fluff up my eggs but um I've got cool wood here, so it's like, hmm, that should be fluffy enough. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw my egg in there and just whisk it instead of fluffing it up. If I can find it. My husband put the dishes away, and of course, he put my whisk where... My go-to buddy over here where I can't find it, but I found it. I'm starting to learn his little habits. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and whip this egg. Since we're not making a cake, we don't need too much air in it. Go ahead and put this cool whip in here. Sometimes, you know, old habits are hard to break. Most people start off with the cake mix first. But if you're used to making cakes from scratch, you know your eggs are the first thing you gotta fluff and butter and you know, you get all that done first, your wet ingredients uh, first, like your creamy ingredients. All right, so that's it for that. Go ahead and twist that in there. Tell you, all habits are hard to break. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some good fluffy, fudgy cookies. All right. All right. That's nice and creamy. You, you know what? Cream cheese would probably be good but I don't have any softens right now. Oh, do I even have it? Yeah. I 
think I'll soften some and uh, cut half and soften it in the microwave and add it in there. Hey, there's a thought. See, getting creative. That's what I'm talking about. You get up in that kitchen, hmm, you can't help but get creative. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut half of this bar. And let me get a sandwich bag so I can put the other half in. Does it go bad? I'll just use one of these. Get a knife. Cut half of this. All right, we've got half. Yeah, this would probably help thicken that too because that Cool Whip thing, it kind of thins out the batter a little bit, I find, anyway. I don't know, some other people may find it just okay, but... I find it a little bit thinning. All right, so I'm going to put this half in here. Wrap it up real good. Put it back in the box. Back in the fridge. And then I am going to take a little container of I'm going to take this, put that in there, and take it to the microwave. Just to get it soft It should t take too long, about 30 seconds, to get it soft enough. See, about 10 more seconds to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw some cream cheese in there. There's an added ingredient, y'all. <laughs> uh, that's what you call getting creative. Oh, yes. Get that cream cheese in there. Mm -hmm. See that? It blended right in. Nice and soft. All right. Well, that's a pretty good mix there. I don't want any cream cheese lumps though. So we're going to make sure we get all that melted. Incorporated as they say. Mixed in real well. Okay. Alright, so now comes time for the fun part. We're going to add the cake mix. Can you all see? Okay. I was going to get the scissors, but I got this knife right here that cut the cream cheese bar in half. That'll work. 
Alright, here comes the chocolate fudge. Dark chocolate fudge cake mix. And with that little cream cheese fluff we just made. Alright, put this in the box. Put everything in the box. Put that aside, put this in the sink. And now we're going to go ahead and add the coffee as soon as we fold this in here a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Here's the coffee grounds. That's good. I already got a spoon in here. Tiny one. Oh, it smells so good. All right, let me level this off. Okay, one level tablespoon of coffee grounds, right in there. And I use this with the regular pot when it gets really cold and snowy and freezing weather. Huffster likes to take his thermos to work. So that's why I keep coffee grounds and curing. Alright. So let's go ahead and get to mixing. We gotta add the nuts in. Well the thing is is that they're all gonna have white chocolate chips. Some are going to have white chocolate chip with Marcona almonds. Some are going to have white chocolate chips with sprinkles. Some are going to have white chocolate chips with just sugar granules. And they're all going to have powdered sugar. <laughs> ah! I tell you, I need me some grandkids over here. Upstairs getting all the sweets. Believe it or not, I'll have just a, a one cookie. Like the last time I made that big batch of the strawberry, I had one. <laughs> he took the rest to work, remember? That was my very first video that I made for YouTube. And uh, oh, this dough is coming along. It's nice and stiff. Good. I thought it was going to be a little bit... Uh, liquidy not doughy enough but oh god it's giving me a workout that's good good sign and uh so anyway so i really don't partake as much Huffster eats it all while he takes it to work. I do indulge, but in really extreme moderation, I have to be careful with all that nonsense. All right, this still needs to be, get mixed because there's still flour. So we got to mix that in real one. There's still cream cheese. So we got to mix that in there really good. Do you see the, the cream cheese? Do you see the white in there? Oh. Anyway, I don't know if you see it from there. <laughs> it's kind of dark in here right now. All right. Let me see if I can get a little flashlight. No, I have to set that light back on before I start to video record. Alright, this looks like it's mixed in real well right now. Oh god, look at that dark rich chocolate. Alright.
Here's the white chocolate chips. I got half a bag. I'm going to dump in about a quarter or half of that. Up. So it's a quarter. So here's the chocolate chip one. So one's going to be chocolate chip. One's going to be chocolate chip and nuts. And one's going to be chocolate chip nuts and sprinkles. How about that? <laughs> now I need that little bowl with some sugar. I can roll the little dough balls around in. I'm going to set my oven to convention oven at 350. Convention oven only because I like that even airflow when I'm doing cakes and cookies and stuff like that. And here's my sill mat. So let me move you guys in a little closer. Don't get busy. this over here. How are you all can see? Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to drop you. <laughs> I right, move you back some. Okay, so we are going to get the cookie. Roll around in there. Get a spoon. See what I'm doing? I'm rolling around the rolling the cookie ball around in here. This is chocolate chip. The white chocolate chip. All right, and there's one. So I'm gonna make three like that. So there's my three with chocolate chip and granulated sugar. So now I'm going to add to this mix some Marcona almonds. I 
I just did by I just poured a handful in there. Now to mix this in. singing again. Arnie, 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 what have I had to talk about this? You're not the same child, especially not in front of these people. Shower's okay. That's it. Okay. That's one. Oops. Wrong pencil. Okay, here's three. I'll tell you when you put the sugar on them, they're so easy to handle. <laughs> they're like, okay, I surrender, I cooperate. <laughs> Just please be gentle. Alright, so next we're going to sprinkle in some sprinkles. Make it real rainbow y. And there is my portion. Alright. Go ahead and mix. Oh, honey child, you're going to need some more sprinkles on top. Yes, you are. All right. Sugar. Like I said, I want them all rolled up in the sugar. I like the sugar crystal crunch in a cookie. Now, I'll tell you why. You bake these for about 12 minutes, but Halfway, uh, I would say about the s five, seven, and nine. If you take them out and you kind of bang them against the counter, they'll crack on the top and get, oh, it's just delicious. All right. So we'll do that. Put a few sprinkles on that. Now I'm going to refrigerate the rest of this. I'm not going to make the whole thing because I'm going to make a couple of plain ones. Uh, I can't have, I'm not doing this for Hopster's job and I can't have Hopster eating all these cookies. They'll sit there and eat them all, just that. All right. Here's a few plain ones, and go ahead and roll the sugar on this one. So I'll take this dough and I'll freeze it. I'll put it in a container and freeze it. I'll wrap it in plastic and then put it in a container and freeze it. And it should be just fine. And then when the grandkids come over, if they come over, <laughs> we live kind of far apart, I can make them some cookies. All right. 
It's my oven. Look at that. Just in time. <laughs> just in time. I just finished. All right. Let's flatten it. Put some sprinkles on top. Flatten it. Put some sprinkles on top. All right. There you have it, folks. We've got three chocolate chip, three chocolate chip and almonds, three chocolate chip with sprinkles, all powdered sugar except for these three. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and put these puppies in the oven, and we'll be back as soon as they're done. Okay, and just to show you, here's the rest of the dough all wrapped up. Got it wrapped up in my Ziploc bag from the freezer. I'm just going to put that in there and throw it in the freezer and it'll be ready. Just got to take it out about an hour before and let it thaw out. It's good to go. That's it. I'll be back. Cookies still have about another five minutes. I gotta take them out and bang them up against the counter. <laughs> okay, time is going off. Let me see what we got. Let's see if this worked. Now, hmm. Let me go ahead and use my oven mitt. Oven gloves. They're going so. Oh, look at that. Those are beautiful. Those are very pretty. Oh, they smell wonderful. They smell very, very inviting. And I like that. The white uh, from the sugar. Kind of the same thing happened with the. Uh, the strawberry ones I made with the powdered sugar. I rolled it in powdered sugar in it. It cracked like that too. It makes it look Christmassy. Even though. See that? Look at that. That's without any sugar. Look at all that chocolate in there. Ah, oh, deep ridge fudge. Yum, nuts, white chocolate chip, look at that, right there, mmm, oh yeah, now I'm going to put some powdered sugar, and I'll put it in a, I'll plate it, and I'll give you one last shot, and there you have it folks, we've got the white chocolate chip. We've got the everything, chocolate chip, nuts, and sprinkles. We've got the plain over here, just the uh, chocolate fudge, I think. Oh, without any sugar. That's what it was. And then we've got the ones with the chocolate chips and nuts right there. And they all have powdered sugar. And they all have sugar, regular granulated sugar, except for these over here. And that is my recipe for cream cheese. I had to add cream cheese to the title now. Dark chocolate fudge box cookies. With Cool Whip. <laughs> Boy, that's a long name. I have to shorten that. Anyway, you all have a blessed day today. It is 1.06. And time for me to close the kitchen. So God bless you all. Have a great day.